If the oven just gets hotter and hotter, you know, it's trying to become, I don't know, the next Mars. What would you, you look at for that one? It's kind of ironic because when you say, okay, I mean, my food was burnt to a crisp. Like, it caught on fire. It was so hot. You know, you think, well, an element or something like that. What it actually is, and I mean, it's really 99 out of 100 times. So when we talked about the relay boards earlier, how it's basically on and off switches that sends power to the element when it needs to heat up cuts power off whenever it needs to cool down. What people will typically find, they heat up the oven, preheat's done, it beeps, it's ready for food, you put it in. What's happening is one of those relays on the relay power board is stuck shut. So it is constantly sending power to one of the elements, so it never cycles down. What they'll typically do is keep heating up until it actually gets an error code, it's over temperature, and force a shutdown. So that is, again, 99 out of 100 times, you're gonna wanna replace the relay power board. This can get a little confusing because some ovens have just one main board that is also the power board. These are the type of ovens that are typically like the, the freestanding ranges where it has the burners on top. It's usually just one board that sends power out. But if you have a built-in oven, especially if it's more of a higher end model, or especially a double oven, you could have not only a main board, but an interface board, a power supply, and two different relay boards. So okay. that part could get really complicated on, on which one you've got to replace. But you know, let's say your lower oven is the one doing it. If you are handy, you can pull it out. You can take the top panel off, take the back panel off, and literally follow the wire from the elements on, say, the lower oven, follow it to the board it's plugged into, and a lot of times there'll be a part number on the board. It's a little more work, but it'll definitely save you money. Anybody can change a board. They're easily accessible. They're typically mounted on the back, mounted on the top. Definitely turn the breaker off, use a meter, test mm -hmm. the cord where it hooks to the oven, make sure you've got no power, and um, yeah, do that yourself. Because the cost of those power relay boards vary anywhere from $80 to $550. Typically, you know, eBay, Amazon, once you get the correct part number, um, you can really save a lot of money, especially if you don't want to replace a $1,500 oven. So, And I'm guessing that could end up being a little bit of an expensive repair as well? Yeah, if you have a technician, especially when they have to pull the oven out, you know, add the markup of cost in your of parts, you know, in your head, and then the labor... I mean, minimum would be anywhere between two to four hundred dollars. There's some uh, repair outfits that don't use dollies for whatever reason. They just send two guys out there to just manhandle it out of there, and so they're yeah. probably going to charge you for two guys. So yeah, the labor can get very expensive on those. Yeah, I can imagine. So that would be a a harder, a bit of a harder work one, but definitely doable. And um, as complex as circuit boards can be it's good to know that you can replace most of them you know uh, with a with a new model basically or a yeah one. yeah and, and definitely take a picture of it before you start unplugging wires <laughs> yeah uh yeah that's a big lifesaver you, you'll spend more time trying to figure out which one goes where than actually doing the repair so yeah very good point i know i'm so thankful for phones that you can oh. kind of get into awkward angles and just mm -hmm. take a little picture oh yeah um, yeah, kind of been easy before when you're like, wait, where did that one go in? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, before I actually I carried markers in my toolbox, different colored markers, and yeah. would mark the wire and then where it goes on the board and use different colors. And then I would do two or three hatches. And yeah, so looking at some of the old stuff I worked on, you'll just see all kinds of just abstract <laughs> weird markings on there. Just so. coloring in and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, 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 good, good way to do it, though, for sure.